Hey, good hey. morning, everybody. It's Welcome to Showtime Power. Power. Com. He's, he's right on Kevin. I almost you said almost that. called me Kevin. I did. I was awesome. You're Kevin. I was too busy trying to talk fast. Yeah. Uh huh. You have you have trouble trouble doing two things at one time. Hey, hey. So um, it's hard to multitask. Not Sequential. Yep, that's right. It's called task switching. There's no such thing as multitasking. Thank you, Gary Keller. GK. Appreciate it. So hey guys, um, it's Wednesday. Uh, a couple quick announcements. We've got some new product up in the e-store. Uh, we have product as low as five dollars now. We actually have a, a new uh, marketing form that we put on all of our listings. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Markets to both buyers and sellers that you can buy for five bucks. And we added these really cool um, eight week marketing email templates that you can plug into your business. We found great success with them. We put testimonials at the bottom of each one of them. It helps get those clients that are on the fence, off the fence, and, and into making a decision. So anyway, check it out. Um, but I want to talk today around the concept of a short sale pipeline. Yeah. Uh, because we get asked a lot of questions, and you know I've been traveling around. We just got done teaching short sales gone wild um, a week a week ago, actually, right. um, up in San Jose, California. Thank you to those who attended. We're actually teaching another one in Spokane, Washington, at the end of this month. So those of you up in Washington, you need to get out there. But we get asked a lot, like, okay, so how do I build a short sale business? Because I, I, it's hard. I, I close. Sometimes I'll have a month where I close five, and it's like a fantastic month. And then the next month I only like, close one. Like. How many listings do I need to have in my pipeline? And then how many homes do I need to have under contract out of those total listings to be able to start closing? Let's let's just say five short well, sales yeah. a month. Well, you got to start with what you have to start backwards. You got to start uh -huh. at the end. You have to think with the end in mind. I feel like I've heard that before, right? Yep. So you got to hey, how many closings do I want every month consistently? If that number's five, you know you want five closings a month. Then you need to have obviously five or more approvals. I would argue you need to have six to seven approvals per yep. month if yep. you're going to close five deals a month because some deals get extended and sometimes buyers walk. So, yep. um, Well, I'll just give it to you this way. Um, if you wanted to close five short sales a month, I would say that you need to have 15 to 20 contracts that right. you're currently negotiating on at any one time. Right. And if you've got 15 or 20 homes that are under contract, then you probably have another 15 or 20 that aren't under contract. Right. So to close five deals a month, you need 35 to 40 listings if you want to average five short sale closings every month Absolutely. without missing a beat. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the numbers we found. If you want to start closing 10 a month, you can start doing it around 70, you know, 65 maybe if you're really good, 60 to 70 listings. Uh, but if you want, and if you want to start getting higher than that, you got to get your listing count a lot closer to 100. Um, our main idea is that whatever we have in our pipeline that's under contract, about a third of those we want approvals on every month. Yeah. Because our whole goal is what? To get the short sale approved in 60 days or less, right? Absolutely. And on the long end, 90, but 60 days or less is our goal. So if we've got you know 20 homes under contract as an example, then we literally want seven agreement notices, seven short sale approvals uh, out of that 20 are already in the process yeah. of closing. Absolutely, no doubt. So just, I mean, just give you some ideas because I think a lot of people get hung up over the numbers and so I was hoping that we can provide that to you today. Another number or if you will, pipeline question we get is, okay, I hired a negotiator on my team or I hired a negotiator for my office. How many deals can they handle at one time, Kevin? Well, I mean, that's a good question and we've pulled, <clears throat> we've pulled how many people now? A I mean, lot. Countless people. You and I have always said about 30 is the max for somebody who's For good. one person. Somebody who's good. Full 30. time. But. You know, our definition is a little bit different. I know other people who have their, their, their negotiators working up to 50, 60 files at a time. I personally do not believe you can treat a file the way it's supposed to be treated in my mind when you're handling 50 or 60. Well, again, let's go back to our deal. If you had 50 or 60, when we say you're handling 50 or 60, we would say 50 or 60 contracts, not listing. Well, and I mean, oh, yeah, and I'm talking from the negotiator standpoint. Yeah, from so if you have 50 or 60 based on our numbers and results, then you should have about 15 to 20 or so um, closings every month if you're dealing with 50 or 60. Yeah. So for anybody who tells us, well, I can handle 50 or 60, then my qu next question is, how many, how many are you closing, closing every month on average? Because if you're closing five a month, then you're not really handling 50 or 60. Correct. I mean, my viewpoint is this. A file gets touched three to five times a week. I mean, not just oh, touched, yeah. but work. worked. And you can't do that if you have 50 files. Yep. I just don't believe you can. And a lot of it depends on how your system's set up. Do you have a transaction coordinator that's getting all the documents from the homeowner every time new things are done? Do you have another assistant that's faxing all the documents over to the bank, calling them? You can, you can maximize a negotiator's number of files if they have a really good assistant that's doing a lot of the calls and what we would call the first 30 days. So 
There's a lot of different variations to this, but hopefully somewhere in there you heard us say something and you went, oh, I probably need to go fix that. Absolutely. Or no, I'm right on track, that's good to hear, and you feel good about it. But I'd love to hear, please give us some feedback below. How many files can you handle at one time, and or have you handled at one time? Approximately how many approvals are you getting over a six month stretch on average, don't just give me your high month. And then also tell us you know, what jo job responsibilities do you have and what don't you have. I'm not trying to make your comments difficult, but give us some depth well, to no, your I'm comments because we can all learn. Absolutely. We can all learn from you. Let's like help each other out with this website. Yeah. So, hey, uh, make sure you catch us. Short Sales Gone Wild is going all around the country. We've got a bunch of new dates up on the website. So check out our events page, shortsellpower.com slash events. I think the Midwest is about to get scheduled. Somewhere. They might already be on the event page by now. That's cool. That's good stuff. Hey, we'll see you on Friday. Kevin's got a really great story for you. See you then. One, two, three. Short Sale Power Hour. <laughs> Short Sale Power Hour. Crush it. Smoosh it. Go